sometimes when we look at it, it looks crazy. It is the result of reasoned engineering thought, but it still looks crazy. From the top of the atmosphere, down to the surface, it takes us seven minutes. From the top of the atmosphere, the vehicle has been alive. We slam into the atmosphere and develop so much aerodynamic drag. Our heat shield, it heats up and it glows like the surface of the sun. 1600 degrees. During engine, like an airplane, to be able to land in a very narrow constraint space. This is one of the biggest challenges that we're facing. We're still going about a thousand miles an hour. So at that point, we use a parachute. The parachute is the largest and strongest supersonic parachute that we've ever built to date. When it opens up that fast, this big, huge parachute that we've got, it'll only slow us down to about 200 miles an hour. So we have no choice, but we've got to cut it off. Once we turn those rocket motors on, so the first thing we do is make this really radical divert maneuver. We fly off to the side. Diverting away from the parachute, killing our horizontal velocity and our vertical velocity, getting the rover moving straight up and down so it can look at the surface with its radar and see where we're going to land. And we head straight down to the bottom of a crater, right beside a six kilometer high mountain. We can't get those rocket engines too close to the ground because if we were to descend propulsively with our engine dust cloud, that dust cloud could then go and land on the rover. It could damage mechanisms and it could damage instruments. So the way we solved that problem... 20 meters above the surface, we have to lower the rover below us on a tether that's 21 feet long and then gently deposit it on its wheels on the surface course with a rover, we must cut the bridle immediately and fly to the same stage to a safe distance from the rover. 